hello again this is the one-eyed patriot on this video I want to share with you how to install a Caldwell XLA bipod so stay tuned This here is the Caldwell XLA bipod, 9 inches to 13, it's a pivot model, and my wife gave this to me for a gift yesterday. <laughs> Interesting uh, how people pick up on what you say. One of my YouTube buddies, we've become good friends now and have met several times, uh, works at Palmetto State Armory in Columbia, which is just around the corner from us. And, she actually remembered his name, <laughs> went to Palmetto State Armory and asked for him, and he helped her find this uh, bipod, which is going to be ideal for my 30-06, I'm hoping. And I've, I've been wanting one for a while. I wasn't worried about the brand name, but we'll see how this one goes. Let's take a look at how it goes on the rifle. This right here is one of my rifles. It's a uh, Remington 700. I believe it's the uh, BDL. I can't remember. But it is bolt action, so probably it's the BDL. I've had this rifle a long time. It served me well as a 30 6 I really like a 30 6 for when you just have to take care of hunting and stuff. I actually had this uh, Pat Meyer Custom installed by a, gun, a gunsmith many years ago. And I, I like walnut and leather. So anyway, uh, we're going to put this on. And the first thing we're going to do is take this off here. So we're going to snap that off, and uh, you just push in, try to hold this handle here while I do everything else. That'll come right off. Well, I had to use two hands, but you see that it did come right off. There's the uh, sling hook there, attachment. take this out with the package and uh, you might as well leave it leave the legs in at least for now and uh, you'll see this screw mechanism here at the other end of this screw mechanism I'll do it right here try it with two hands here I basically had to uh, push this through When you push it through, you get these two pieces here. And these basically are going to go on both sides of this post right here. And then you're going to screw the bottom screw tight. And uh, let me do that and show it to you. It's kind of confusing though if you've never done it. Once you've done it, you'll know. Just a minute. So when I tighten this back up, and you don't want to tighten it too much because you want it to be able to pivot some, uh, you will see here there is a sling, a place for your sling swivel to reattach. So we'll go ahead and reattach that. And you just take this on this particular one and uh, attach it. One eye guy here is working at it, you know, with one hand. Anyway. Let me get that on here and I'll be right back to you. Okay, now we have that firmly in place. Just a second here and I'll show you some more. These legs will pop straight out. And then one step further is to go ahead and, and loosen them up. And they'll, they'll extend on out. And I'll show that to you in a minute. And there she is. Uh... The legs are fully extended there at 13 inches. Gives you plenty of room now to work with it. And uh, that kind of thing. You can lower them. And then they fold back up for easy carry. It's kind of cool. I'm excited. I'm going to make a nice uh, uh, accurate rifle out of this one for sure. I want to give two shout outs to two well worthy channels. Two outstanding patriots 
the firearm guy and deputy sheriff 100 go over and check out their channels like and subscribe I'm sure they would appreciate that meanwhile this is the one-eyed patriot thanks for watching signing off for now